and welcome back guys. Hi, today we are doing something so easy and it is so much fun to do. People will think you're a wizard in the kitchen. I'm not even kidding you. It's the greatest thing. We're making almond milk. So all you do is you take your almonds and you soak them. You can soak them overnight or you could soak them for a few hours. And what happens is this little almond thinks that it's starting to become a plant. So it starts the sprouting process, which makes it so much more nutritious. It's sort of like a little tiny plant in here. So you're, you're getting all of those vital nutrients in a soaked almond as opposed to an almond that has not been soaked. You don't want this water. You definitely want to throw it out. So you soaked your almonds about a cup. You dump the water. You give it a quick little rinse. You put your almonds in your Vitamix. And then you need to add water. So you guys are gonna have to come with me to the water cooler. So we want to add maybe about three cups of water to one cup of almonds. It depends. If you use less water, you will have a creamier almond milk and you can use it as like a half and half in your coffee. So the more water, the thinner your almond milk will be. So let's see, I just do it by eye, but usually three cups water to one cup is pretty good. That's probably a little bit more. That's about four cups of water. So let's go back to our Vitamix. And that's really all you do. And now you're just gonna blend it up and strain it. That's the whole thing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flavor it with some dates. So I'm just squeezing them to pull out the pit. Throwing in, I don't know, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do four dates today. It'll be really delicious. So we have two, here's three. And also I'm going to put in a vanilla bean. You do not need to scrape the seeds out. You can throw the entire bean, husk and all, inside. A little bit of salt, because everything sweet needs salt. So a pinch or so of sea salt. And I like just a touch of cinnamon. It tastes like rice pudding. Do this, blend it up. So now that's that, you know, maybe we could have gone a little bit longer, but maybe that wasn't quite a minute or so. But it's, it's really okay. You could drink it just like this. It will be a little bit grainy and gritty. My children like it smoother. So I bought one of these nut bags. You can buy them online or from Whole Foods. It's just a nice little sack, has a drawstring on top. So you just kind of squeeze the bag gently and all this delicious almond milk comes out. And you must do this with very, very clean hands. I just washed mine before this, so. I can smell the vanilla. It really smells wonderful. Now here's another little tip. When you're done milking the bag, you can actually, <laughs> it sounds weird, you can actually save the almond meal that's in here as almond flour. And you can even make crackers if you have a dehydrator at home. So basically that is it. You just keep doing this and you can squeeze. It takes a couple of minutes, it's not terrible. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see how absolutely pure it is. It comes out so lovely with that nut bag. And then, let me just taste it. Yum. Tastes a little bit like rice pudding. It's really delicious. Delicious. I would not want to drink milk if I had this. Excellent. Thanks, guys.